Hello, Vinyl Community. This is Randy, and this is a response to a video started by Chris Profi, a Musically Obsessed, in which he wanted us to show the diversity in our music collections uh, by taking uh, and showing 10 uh, diverse albums uh, to show what kind of variety that you had. And so I thought I would jump in here. And the first one I'm going to show is a psych band called the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. And this album is called Part One. <laughs> I don't think there was ever a part two though, but I don't know. Uh, I first found out about this album by Cosmic Brian. I watched his channel and he thought, saw him talk about it and I thought, that sounds interesting. And I just love this album. This is a reissue uh, that's still available. And so I think, you know, it's reprise, reprise. But uh, it's got some cool pop sensibilities too. There's a couple uh, pop songs on here, including uh, Here's Where You Belong, and If You Want This Love, those are very good. But Shifting Sands is a good psych tune to get you ready for the album. But that's, that's a wonderful uh, album, and I recommend that one. Uh, the next one I'm going to show is a classical album. I would call it avant-garde classical or minimalist classical, and that's the guy, the, the composer is Arvo Part. And uh, it's called Fjord Alina is the name of the album. And Alexei Lubinov, Vadim Guzman, Angel Wolf. Well, those are some of the players on here. I don't think I can say all the names, but it's very piano based uh, with some violin and some cello here and there, but it's. Uh, so unique experience, very haunting, and I probably could have used this when I did uh, the Keep It Simple Stupid for Elliot Cruz, but for the classical side, this is uh, Arvo Park Composer. Next one I'm gonna show is a heavy metal group called Slow Season. And this is a California group, and it's on the uh, Writing Easy Records. Uh, Soul Season is the name of the band. Uh, hard Rock Boogie, I would call it. That's a really interesting band there. So I'll go from classical to psych to Heavy rock to an old time country, and that's uh, Red Foley's greatest hits. The on Decca. But uh, he's probably most famous for his song. Uh, Chattanooga Shoeshine Boy. A little kind of a boogie-woogie, western swing country. Uh, but Red Sovine, good old time country. And moving from country to, how about some jump blues with Winoni Harris. Um, he had some kind of risque sounding songs like I Love My Baby's Pudding. Loving Machine, Keep on Churning Till the Butter Comes, uh, and some drinking songs like Quiet Whiskey. But uh, it's called Mr. Blues. I would call it a jump blues. If you like uh, Louis Jordan, I think you would probably like Winoni Harris. And going from jump blues to how about Afro Pop with Jaluka. Johnny Clegg led this group from South Africa. 
Uh, Scatterlings of Africa was probably the only song that I know that they got much radio play in the U.S. But uh, he was out of South Africa. Does some um, uh, Zulu uh, songs on here as well. But uh, Johnny Clegg. Going from Afro pop to uh, doo wop with the Eldorados. At My Front Door was their biggest hit in 1955. Uh, this is a solid smoke collection of, of their hits. But a uh, wonderful doo wop group from the 50s, uh, the Eldorados. I think uh, Bim Bam Boom also got some play. Uh, but it's also got a couple songs that have, were never released, and both of those are pretty good, too. If you like doo-wop, I would recommend the Eldorados. And going from doo-wop to... How about some jazz? This is Bobby Jazz Power, the flautist. Uh, this is a, an issue from Sam Records out of uh, France. And... Playing with them on this one is Michael Hauser and Sade on Vibes, Paul Rover and Jimmy Merritt on bass, Umberto Canto on bongos, and Kenny Clark on drums, which most people know him. Yeah, but Bobby Jasper, the flautas. It's a wonderful sounding album. You know, anything I've had from Sam Records has always sounded great. Uh, it's like some Barclay with Sam. Re-release -re and wonderful recording. Sounds sounds wonderful. So I'll go from jazz to now if I showed you this to go, oh, some heavy metal band, uh, the Skull Snaps, but no, they're a funk band. And that well, I guess at one time. This was one of the most desirable funk albums to to get, uh, that a lot of rap groups sampled the song It's a New Day because of the drum part in that song. But uh, this has been reissued now on GSF. Uh, but wonderful funk album. If you like Joe Tex, I think you'd probably like uh, this or some of Curtis Mayfield's. Uh, stuff. Uh, I think this is the might be the only album they ever they ever did. And one of the songs on here, "I'm Your Pimp," uh, it has to have been used in some black exploitation movie. I can just see Fred Williamson in a movie where they play this song. Uh, but it's a wonderful tune. There's the whole whole album. It's good. Some good funk by the Skull Snaps. So I'm going to funk to how about some Psycho Billy with the Cramps. This is their album, A Date with Elvis. On Big Beat Records. Inner sleeve. Need to get this in a regular sleeve, but uh, and I won't tell you the names of the songs because uh, they're pretty sexual in nature. But uh, psychability with the cramps, and that's my ten. But I want to throw in an extra one because. Uh, just because I can. And this is for Mazzy, Nora Mazloff, who uh, I guess had said that in one video that he had to promote this album. And I had said in the comments that I actually had that album. It's kind of this Bruce Springsteen knockoff or whatever. And it's a guy named Arlen Gale from 1978. So I actually do have this album, Arlen Gale. Album's called Back to the Midwest Nights. Kind of a Midwest rock, I would call it. It was on ABC, who Mazzy was working for at the time. 
That's a uh, Arlen Gale back with Midwest Nights, and those are my selections for the diversity in my collection. And thank you, everybody, for watching.